It is Tuesday, March 21st. Today, Pinpointing Profit, the image-based social app, has tips for your next campaign. Artful AI, two big players enter the generative AI space. New rules at TikTok cover endorsement deals. And Twitter's response to concerns over brand safety issues? A poop emoji. I'm Todd Maffin. That's ahead, Today in Digital Marketing. Now that we've started doing TikToks again, we needed really good stock video. That's out there, but for 30 bucks per clip? No thanks. Stock video is pricey on most sites, but not on Storyblocks. Storyblocks has the same quality video and images, and you can download as many as you like for a fraction of what the big sites charge. They have more than a million video clips in 4K or HD, stock images, music, video project templates, sound effects, and more. And you pay one price and get unlimited downloads. So you've got the breathing room to test out different effects, clips, or tracks to bring your creative vision to life. Other stock providers make licensing expensive and complicated. Storyblocks has two clear-cut licenses backed by a million-dollar indemnification. You get worldwide rights forever with no limits on how you distribute or produce your creative work. Visit storyblocks.com slash today to take back creative control with their unlimited royalty-free stock library. That's storyblocks.com slash today. Two new ad products are coming to Instagram. The company announcing today it's beginning to test ads in search results, which will let brands reach consumers who are actively searching for products, businesses, or content. The ads will show up in the feed that users scroll through when they tap into a post from search results. The company plans to launch this placement globally in the coming months. Instagram is also launching something called Reminder Ads, which are designed for businesses to announce, remind, and notify consumers of future events or launches that they may be interested in. Users can opt into reminders and receive three notifications from Instagram, one day before, 15 minutes before, and at the time of the event. And those reminder ads are rolling out to all advertisers now as an option in the feed. If you work in e-commerce or retail, you're probably familiar with the 99 cent pricing strategy when you price products at 99 cents instead of rounding up to the nearest dollar. Some new research shows that one simple adjustment to this strategy can boost sales by up to 10%. The study found to increase the effectiveness of the 99 cent pricing strategy, you should mention the original price as well. When consumers are shown prices ending in a 99 cents with a reference price, they perceive the price to be even cheaper because the discount will seem larger making them more likely to purchase. This is especially true for casual buyers. According to the study's researchers, this is because people tend to process prices in one of two ways, either by looking at each digit individually or by rounding the number in our minds. When the original and discounted prices are listed side by side, consumers tend to compare prices using the first method, focusing on the leftmost digits, making the difference appear larger. But when the prices are not listed together, people judge the prices based on their memory of one price, seeing the 99-cent price as less significant. The report notes that companies often use prices ending in 99 cents to make the costs seem lower, especially during sales or promotions, and including the original price can emphasize that discount to buyers. Examples of companies using this strategy include some of the big ones like Amazon, Best Buy, and Zara. The study was published in the Journal of Marketing Research. It's called When and Why Are Consumers Penny Wise and Pound Foolish? If you're looking to up your Pinterest game, the company provided some new pointers for your pin campaigns yesterday. The ad tips include experimenting with multiple objectives. This was their number one tip, saying that we advertisers should target consumers at each stage of the purchase cycle rather than focusing on one aspect. Now, of course, multiple objectives usually means multiple ads, which equals more money for Pinterest. So, you know, grain of salt. But that said, Pinterest noted that advertisers that adopt more than one goal have experienced sales lifts of up to 60%. Number two, spend more on video. Pinterest recommends brands aim to have video comprise the majority of their media plan to maximize ROI and responses. Video remains, of course, the most engaging format on their platform. Number three, Keep your campaign fresh. To improve performance, include variations in your creative mix. Pinterest says that using three or more ad formats can increase awareness by three times, so 
Just a few versions of each ad are needed to keep things engaging. Adobe has finally caught up to the AI image generator trend. The company launched Adobe Firefly today, a family of creative generative AI models, which includes the release of two new tools, one that creates images based on prompts and another that generates stylized text. Adobe says its models are trained on images that are licensed or out of copyright or in its own stock library. The company also plans to pay artists who contribute training data and make its AI tools more user-friendly than its rivals. Instead of having to type in a string of descriptive text to style an image, the tool includes built-in options for art styles, lighting, and aspect ratios. The beta version of Firefly is currently available through its website with plans for future integration into Adobe's suite of creative apps. Along with the launch of Firefly, the company also launched Adobe Sensei Generative AI Services today. Those are new AI tools aimed specifically at enterprise-level marketers. The services will leverage a combination of AI tech, including Adobe's own large language models and Microsoft's Azure OpenAI service to perform marketing and sales tasks. The services will let customers create different versions of advertising email, text copy, and web pages by selecting the tone, identifying keywords, and using up-to-date product information. The models within generative AI services will also generate captions for visualizations such as cohort tables and follow charts. Meanwhile, Microsoft Bing now does generative AI images as well. The company launched Bing Image Creator in chat today, which is the latest powered by DAL-E and will only be available through creative mode. The new image generator will be available in Microsoft Edge, meaning you'll be able to generate AI images directly from your browser. For now, it's only available in the U.S., and the UK. If you have a family like I do, you know how much your loved ones depend on you. In a worst case scenario, you wouldn't want them to worry about money. A good life insurance plan can give you peace of mind so that if something happens to you, your family will have a safety net. Policy Genius was built to modernize the life insurance industry. Their technology makes it easy to compare life insurance quotes from America's top insurers in just a few clicks to find your lowest price. With Policy Genius, you can find life insurance policies that start at just $25 per month for a million dollars of coverage. Some options offer coverage in as little as a week and avoid unnecessary medical exams. Policy Genius has licensed agents who can help you find the best fit for your needs. They work for you, not the insurance companies. That means they don't have an incentive to recommend one insurance over another, so you can trust their guidance. There are no added fees and your personal details are private. Your loved ones deserve a financial safety net. Head to PolicyGenius.com, PolicyGenius.com. When it comes to hiring, you need to trust your gut. But what if you could give your gut some help? When you want to find top talent fast, you need Indeed. Indeed is the hiring platform where you can attract, interview, and hire all in one place. Don't spend hours on multiple job sites looking for candidates with the right skills when you can do it all with Indeed. We used Indeed when we were looking for our associate producer, and Indeed's Instant Match feature was so helpful here. With Instant Match, as soon as you sponsor a post, you get a short list of quality candidates whose resumes on Indeed match your job description, and you can invite them to apply right away. Indeed knows when you're growing your own business, you have to make every dollar count. Account. That's why with Indeed, you only pay for quality applications that match your must-have job requirements. Visit Indeed.com slash digital to start hiring now. Just go to Indeed.com slash digital. Indeed.com slash digital. Terms and conditions apply. Cost per application pricing not available for everyone. Need to hire? You need Indeed. More generative AI tools also means more restrictions. TikTok has updated its content moderation policies to include new restrictions on sharing AI deepfakes, which have gained popularity on the app in recent months. The platform's rules on what content can be posted and promoted remain largely unchanged, with no graphic violence, hate speech, or overtly sexual content allowed. But a newly expanded section covers synthetic and manipulated media, otherwise known as AI deepfakes. With the new policy updates, all realistic AI-generated content must now be clearly disclosed as such, either in the video caption or as an overlaid sticker. The platform has also banned any synthetic media that contains likenesses of a real private figure or shows a public figure endorsing a product 
or violating the app's other policies. Public figures are defined as anyone 18 years of age or older with a significant public role, like a government official, politician, business leader, or celebrity. In other words, if you've been using a Joe Biden deepfake to promote your products, you're going to need to find a new brand spokesperson. Elon Musk's assessment of Twitter performance may not be as accurate as he claims. Musk noted earlier this month that Twitter experienced 50% less hate speech on the platform than it did pre-acquisition. But new data suggests that hate speech on Elon Musk's Twitter is actually rising. A new study from the Institute for Strategic Dialogue found that anti-Semitic speech on the app has skyrocketed since Musk took over. The analysis found an average of 6,200 posts per week appearing to contain anti-Semitic language between June 1st and October 27th, the day of the takeover. But that number more than doubled to nearly 13,000 through early February, a 105% increase. According to the study, contrary to Twitter's own data, hate speech is actually significantly up in the app. When media emailed Twitter's PR department for comment, they did receive a reply from Twitter, a poop emoji. It turns out now every email sent to Twitter's media relations team is ignored, but auto replied with, well, a shit post. Hanging out with my 80 year old mom last couple of days for some medical appointments of hers just makes me realize just how mean spirited technology is to older people. You know, and these notification screens on apps that prompt you, not the one from the from the mobile OS, but the one just before that has all sorts of warnings about if you don't turn on notifications, you'll miss this and you won't get that. And it's just nonsense, of course, but it just seems kind of mean spirited. My mom's phone, of course, is just littered with notifications from crappy apps. Ugh. Anyway, food for thought. See you tomorrow. Ooh.